unlike any other day, this was the day. I awoke to a picture frame in a sliding glass door with a meadow going down to a lake. The steel blue sky with a, a sliver of like peach on the edge and there was one pinhole of light shining in. I got up, I put on my black socks, my walking shoes, and I headed out on my 100-yard winding white driveway. Or was it the best day ever when my son, my youngest, turns five, and he's got the camera on him, and he looks at the camera and he says, this is the best day ever. And as a parent, vicariously, I live that. And then his brother outside the camera view says, well, what do you want to be? And he said, I want to be George Washington. <laughs> I make it up to Sam's Lake. That's the road I live on. And it's a gravel, uh, asphalt, black, rainy, and I'm walking, and over in the far distance I hear a river. It's, uh, it's metal and asphalt and rubber, and it's just racing by. It's uh, also known as the turnpike. <laughs> I get up to the clay road, and I turn right, and I start imagining my day, and I'm creating it. Or maybe the best day ever was when my oldest son, playing AAU baseball at nine, uh, extra innings, it's at Disney World, AAU, wide world of sports, it's the next day because it was rained out and the second, it might have been the first pitch, a line drive goes to first base in the out of, out of bounds. No, out of bounds, foul. Yeah, that's what it is, it's foul. And he becomes horizontal and he catches it to make the third out and create the winning out. And he looks at it and he realizes he caught it and the dugout erupts and I erupt and I go out there and grab him and he, he gets it. He, he sees it. He did it. I'm walking on the orange clay road and the rubber of my shoes are crunching on the sandy clay soil and it's hypnotic because I'm walking with my arms up. Some birds are chirping, they're my soundtrack for the morning at least. The day is, is becoming more orange, coming up over a hill and there's just slight fog or maybe the best day ever was when I was in Osaka on a small bridge over a koi pond and I turned to this beautiful woman and I asked her if I could kiss her. And when we kiss, she becomes my girlfriend, my fiance, my wife, my ex-wife, my neighbor, my friend. A lifetime in one kiss. As I'm walking, a palm tree with way above everyone else, almost like it has self-esteem problems, pounces above me as I walk by. It's dark, but the day is starting and I can feel vibrant, I can feel real, I can feel awake. Or maybe the best day ever was when me and 49 other people walk into an arena in Venice, Florida, and there's circus music playing and bubbles are in the air and uh, plywood cut out uh, figures of people as audience members in the bleachers and stilts and trampolines and, and, and props and uh, 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 balls that are, have red stars and white. And the dean and the teachers and the professors and the people who make the costumes are giving us a standing ovation for the first day of Ringling Brothers Barton Bailey Clown College. 
I get home, uh, I get on my zero turn tractor, I have a little trailer in the back, I put in some stones and concrete and a hose and a bucket and I go down and I, <laughs> I make my fire pit. Actually, it's already made. I just give it an exoskeleton of concrete and I take the sponges and I splatter it and I make it look, for a better word, artistic, I guess. Or maybe the best day ever was when I was wearing a green, lime green speed skating suit with the white Tyvek suit on top and goggles and I'm top of a six foot ball at the uh, Ed Sullivan stage and Paul is playing music and the curtain comes up and when it gets to me, the audience erupts in this, I don't know what, uh, laughter, uh, what is he doing? And 18 seconds later, the curtain goes down and David Letterman looks to Paul and says, that's something. I'm here now, I'm on the stage, I'm looking at all of you. It's wonderful. You see, the best day ever is always the same day. The best day ever is the day I'm in right now. Thank you.